I graduated from Northeastern, I, uh, I started a business. I started doing uh, auto body work. Uh, that's what my dad's trade was. And if you work on uh, cars, for instance, it's amazing how many different materials you learn about. Instead of turning them into um, repair jobs, I've turned them into art forms. But there was always something behind me that I wanted to, I wanted to get back into art. My name is Troy Jackson. I am a Cherokee potter and sculptor. I've enjoyed doing um, Cherokee pottery for many years now. Uh, I've always wanted to be an artist and I've always drawn and painted and um, just was involved in the arts all my life. This year at the Cherokee Homecoming Art Show, I won Best of Show with this piece titled Cherokee Rose. During the Trail of Tears, when the Cherokee came to Tahlequah, they endured a lot of hardships. And so the women, they were becoming weary, and not so much for themselves or their husbands, but for their children. So they were worried that the children may not be able to make that long of a journey. Men got together and prayed for the women, that they would gain encouragement, that they would gain hope and not be so weary and to understand that you know, that even though this was a tra travesty, that they could make it. And the very next day where they had prayed, there came a sign and it was a wild rose that grew up in that area where they prayed. And so that's how it got its name, the Cherokee Rose. The inspiration behind this is really important to me because I base my life on two things, and that is God and family. And so when I read the legend or the story about uh, the Cherokee Rose, it was an encouragement to me, and, and I actually uh, understood exactly what it meant. You know, any time I win an award, it, it, it's a great honor. It's a great honor to, to even get to be in a show. But just a place, it, there's so much good work. Uh, we've got people all over Oklahoma, and I don't know how far they come for this show, but I know they come quite a ways. And so uh, it's just, it's just amazing. I hope that they will get out of the show. Um, artists are wanting to keep the Cherokee culture alive, that they're wanting to not only keep it alive, but to take it into the 22nd century or 23rd or 20, you know, we would take it on as far as it'll go. And I think that uh, in doing that, we can preserve and keep our culture known. It's, it's who we are, it's, it's where we came from and where we're gonna go. I, uh, I think we're changing all the time. The Cherokee has always been a very diverse uh, tribe. I think we're holding true to what the Cherokee are today and by doing artwork, I'm hoping that I give back to that culture.